If I mention the name Dr. Seuss to you, I hope a few titles or book titles come to your mind. I, in particular, enjoyed Hop on Pop, maybe Green Eggs and Ham, maybe How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Cat in the Hat. Those titles bring back great memories, not only for me, but also reading those books to my own children. Dr. Seuss was one very interesting individual. He was interesting because he never gave up. Dr. Seuss was born in the United States. His last name is Giselle. And being German, being born in the United States before the First World War, as a young boy, he suffered a great deal. He was made fun of and his family was persecuted because of the war effort in the First World War against Germany. Dr. Seuss never gave up. That's an important theme that I would like all of us to recall this morning. When Dr. Seuss started writing his children's books, his titles were not appreciated. Editors thought that he was unimaginative. They didn't think he was creative at all. Dr. Seuss tried 23 different publishers. All of the experts said no to him. Most of his books, even to this day, are published by a publishing house that he created himself. 23 times being told by book publishers no didn't deter Dr. Seuss. Let's all of us be inspired by people like this. In our lives, we probably know people, maybe our own parents, who faced a great deal of opposition, but because of their determination, their insistence on continuing to knock, 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 eventually someone will answer the door. I'd also like to just point out to you, our world is filled with many so-called experts who will tell us what we should be doing, they will tell us what they think is right, and we have to listen. Well, the word expert comes from the Latin word expertus, and expertus means to try. All of us, let's be experts. Let's try our very best today. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day, St. Paul. Good morning, St. Paul's. My name is Lucas Stabile, and here are your morning announcements. Attention all graduates planning on going to college this September. The annual college fair will be held at the Direct Energy Center on October 27, 2009, from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Travel to Ireland, Greece, Italy, England, or Spain in July 2010 and gain a high school credit. Celtic Learning and Georgia Hardy Tours conducts credit courses in Europe during this month of July. There will be a parent information night right here in Dufferin Peel at Robert F. Hall Secondary School from 7 to 8 p.m. on Thursday, October 22nd. Special discounts will be given out at the meeting. Please see your guidance counselor for more information on the Georgia Hardy Summer School Experience. All are welcome. For beauty design, an attractive price, stop by the Ring Day table today to check out Justin's brand new Solaris Elite Ring line that is a bright yellow alloy composed of 25% yellow gold.
Attention students, for this week only, after school math help has been moved from Tuesday to Friday in room 230. There will be a meeting again on Tuesday of next week. Another opportunity for you to get information on post-secondary education. Pocock High School is hosting their University College Fair on Wednesday, October 28th. The fair will be held at the school from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. There will be approximately 10 universities and three or four colleges with a very informal evening for parents and students. High School Enrichment at the University of Waterloo. Waterloo Unlimited is designed for a well-rounded students of exceptional potential. Details at www.unlimitedu.waterloo.ca. Ryerson University. General tours of the university are available on Monday to Friday till November 27th. You need to register. All students who were, were invited back for Talent Night Recall are reminded to meet at the music room after school today. This is not an open audition. Come only if you are called back to the show. The requested changes in your act. And now over to the man himself, Greg LeClaire. Due to the lack of commitment, the senior boys hockey team has been cancelled for the 2009-2010 season. Tryouts for the junior boys hockey team is as follows. Wednesday, October 21st at 3 p.m. and Tuesday, October 27th at 3 p.m. <clears throat> Raw power, lightning speed, and brute force was no match for preparation, execution, and team chemistry. In yesterday's flag football action, members of the grade 11 Blue Jays took on Lady Wolverines in an excellent display of uh, sport and athletics. The Lady Wolverines got off to a great start with a punt return for a touchdown by Luba Salipka. The boys would answer back with an impressive drive to tie the game at 7-all with a touchdown from Nevin Koulis. The boys then went on a rampage, shutting down the Lady Wolverine offense and forcing the girls to turn the ball over. The boys were then able to capitalize on their opportunity by marching down the ball downfield with little resistance to score their second touchdown of the game and the two-point convert to seal the deal. The game ended up going into overtime with a spectacular touchdown drive by the Lady Wolverines who started from their own 30-yard line and used strategy to move the ball down the field. <clears throat> In overtime, the ladies ended up executing to perfection on both offense and defense to defeat the boys by a score of 3-0 on converts. The game was filled with controversy, missed calls, and bad calls for both teams, but preparation, execution, and team chemistry under pressure prevailed. The lesson learned, don't underestimate your opponent, and always be prepared for chemistry. Lady Wolverines are still undefeated. Great job, girls. And now a word for Mr. Schmidt. <clears throat> 